this up. It's called bowling riz. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. I just riz. No riz about How are you this. feeling? You feeling rizzed up right now? Not at all. Feeling all rizzed up about to watch this strike challenge. I had so much fun doing the last strike challenge. I thought it'd be fun to do with another hybrid bowling ball, the new stealth hybrid. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a 10 minute timer on the clock and I'm going to see if I can break 17 strikes with the Stealth Hybrid. All right, so we had the Stealth Solid, the Stealth Pearl, and now we have the Hybrid. I am super excited to throw it. I do like hybrids. I did like the look of the Solid. I did not see a lot of the Pearl, but I did want to drill the Stealth Solid. So I am excited to see what this ball is gonna give me, especially with me liking hybrids so much. Based on the shots I've thrown with it a little bit, I have seen where it's just as clean as the Pearl, but still strong like the Solid. So I think it's gonna be a good blend, which a hybrid should, of both bowling balls. So that way, if you weren't a fan of maybe the Solid because the Solid was too much or the Pearl was not enough, this should be right there in the middle. So let's see if I can beat 17 strikes with this ball. Start the timer. Oh, of course, we started with that. All right. Strike is a strike. Oh, give, oh, 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 give it to me. If you haven't already checked on my other strike challenge, that's what I'm referring to. My 17 strikes that I threw with a different hybrid ball. So after you're done watching me hopefully throw more than that, go ahead and check that video out. Hook. All right, my goal for this video is I'm going to take a little bit more time since I do have to wait for my ball to come back anyways. Hook. Okay. Already in love. I got two hits on the seven pin. Okay, that one I deserved. It was in the oil. I up hit it. Try not to send it too far to the friction. All right, I'm not gonna have time to wipe off my ball. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's, it's looking good. Okay, I rushed that. Deserved a 10 pin. Shove. Okay. This lane is a little bit tighter. So I try to keep it a little bit more in on the right lane. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna have to throw another shot over here. Should be good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Darker balls are always, I feel like, they just always roll better. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. I hit that a little bit more going this way, but four pin's still good. It's definitely digging in the oil, getting to the friction, blending it nicely. I have bowled a little bit on this, so this is a pretty broken down house shot. So I like that. It's not reading too early for me right now. Shove. All right, I'm going to have to send it a little bit further right on that side. All right, we're halfway done. Time to throw some better shots. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna have to tuck my pinky on this lane. That should be good. All right, maybe I just need to throw it better over here. So far this ball is not disappointing, not at all. I do like that it's still giving me a lot of length in the front part of the lane. What I know this part of the lane is pretty broken down right now. All right, shove. I don't know how many I'm at, but I know it's a lot. All right, I needed that to get around it, and it did. You know, sometimes I throw it good. 
And it just happens to be when I do the strike challenges for some reason. <laughs> Okay, hook. Yeah, I deserve that. All right, shove. It's okay on that lane. Oh my God, I almost took the three pin back. Okay, now my timing's just getting a little bad. Okay, like I said, I'm liking this. My bad shots, honestly, are still nine and they're pretty bad right now, I'm tired. That was better, but I needed to shove. Oh. Shove. Dang. Some of these shots that I'm throwing in, they're really, they're holding for me. I should be able to get one more. I got 30 seconds. Shove. I need to send it further right. Oh, I still got 10. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. No. All right. What's the score? What's the count? No, it's okay. We're going to finish off this 300 for you guys. We do have 300 going. So before we go and check the tapes, we're going to see if I can finish off this game. Oh, I threw that so bad, but you know what? No. <laughs> that was so bad. Why does every ball I throw right now look good? Oh, that's such a hard problem to have. No, I'm not. I feel like for the channel, it sounds like I say this. This is like the hard part when it comes to ball reviews. You might see a lot on YouTube. There are a lot of great bowling balls and it's always what you need and what you don't need. Obviously, if you can't afford every single ball that comes out, as I'm sure most of you cannot, you don't need seven hybrids in your arsenal. You don't need seven pearls. Obviously you need to find the one that fits you. So if you are looking for a new hybrid bowling ball, this could be a great option. Now, if you're looking for a symmetrical hybrid, this is going to be that ball right now, the newest stealth hybrid on the market. I do like how you saw some of the shots that I threw in. What I like about symmetric hybrids is that they actually blend out the lane for me. Sometimes the ASIM hybrids lock up a little bit early for me with my lower speed. So I do see myself when throwing a hybrid, I do prefer symmetric hybrids like this, especially on patterns. I definitely think this is going to be super good for me when I'm in transition games like three, four, five. I definitely see this fitting in with like an ASIM hybrid is just locking up again and I'm getting it to the pocket, but it's not going through the pins. This is definitely going to be the ball I go to. As you see, I was bowling on a pretty broken down house shot and it was not overreacting for me when I did throw it right and it was giving me a lot of shim in the middle so that is a plus for me love that so I'm excited to see where this ball fits into my arsenal I am a little sad I didn't beat my last strike challenge I had 14 but I was close I am a little bit more tired so I'm gonna give myself that but 14 is still great like I said, it gave me the best of both worlds where I had hook and hold. If you are a fan of the Cell series, this hybrid is going to be a great piece to add to your arsenal and you can go to your local pro shop and check it out later this month. As always, thank you to the Bowling Factory and everyone here. We love coming here. We can't thank you guys enough for all the support in Brunswick for giving us the opportunity to showcase these balls to you. So that way you guys can make your best decision when purchasing your next bowling ball. And we are almost close to 20,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit the sub button if you're watching this video and we will see you guys in Jonesboro.